Welcome back to Florida Sportsman, Project Dreamboat. Join us as the experts at Rocky Point Boatworks install a new bow-mounted trolling motor on the Twin V project. All right, so here at Rocky Point Boatworks, we've been working on this Twin V uh, project. It's coming along real nice. We got the new Yamaha F-115 hung, got the steering all put on, plumbed, bled, working good. We went ahead and wired it, used all our pacer wire, connectors, all that stuff, batteries in the boat. One thing the customer also wanted was a really nice trolling motor, so we went ahead and ordered up a Minn Kota trolling motor, 80-pound uh, thrust, and uh, so we're going to go ahead and get that baby installed today so he can get out in the water and uh, get close to the docks and uh, hopefully catch some fish and have a real nice dinner. We went ahead and brought our uh, Minn Kota box out and uh, started unboxing it, and I soon learned it was boxed very well. <coughs> Don't film this. <laughs> We're getting a razor knife. Once we got it out, looked over the instructions a little bit, we uh, went ahead and put it up on the uh, bow of the boat. We put our uh, quick release mount on there by Minn Kota. It's a piece of starboard. They got it all cut out, integrated. Um, got a puck that stays on the boat permanently. And then the other plate mounts to the Minn Kota trolling motor. So when you do get this, you're gonna have to take your sides off. It's a real nice feature. Um, like I said, it's all built in, integrated. You don't need anything special. Easy peasy, one, two, three. So when we were trying to choose our mounting point for this trolling motor, you don't want the trolling motor to be in the deck space, you know, possibly when it's not deployed, you don't want it to be in the way when it comes to docking, things like that. And then obviously when it comes to deploying the, the uh, unit, you don't want it to hit the rub rail, rub hard on that or anything like that. But just use common sense, follow the instructions, and uh, you should be just fine. So once we determined where we want to mount this trolling motor on the bow of the boat, we went ahead and marked our area and we laid out uh, our spot to mount the puck. So once we get our puck up there, all bolted down, we want to go ahead and reinstall the trolling motor, double check that we got this thing in the right position and that it deploys easily and clear of obstructions and free movement, all that kind of stuff. There she blows like a hump on a snow hill. It's Minn Kota Tororova. Ter tero How do you say that? Tarova? So after we get the trolling motor up, it comes down to the electrical side. I noticed that the boat already had a pre-existing plug in there. So I'm thinking, this is great. Less work for me. As, as it would be, it wasn't. Um, the wire they had run up to the, the plug was a bit oversized and it's been in there a little bit. And after um, trimming back some shielding, we noticed you know, the wire's a little uh, cruddy. So there I went to Pacer's website, ordered up some eight gauge uh, duplex, which comes two eight gauge wires in there, positive and negative, ordered up the correct footage I needed, and uh, went ahead and moved forward, got everything new in there, so everything's gonna operate real nice. So we got our wire pulled up to the console. This trolling motor happens to be 24 volts. So we wanna go ahead and create a series circuit. So we're gonna take two 12 volt batteries, tie them together. You're gonna take the positive to the negative of the opposite battery, and then from there, you're gonna take your negative and your positive that are left over coming out will make 24 volts. From our plug, you have your positive and negative. They're gonna come into the console. So when they come into the console, you're gonna take your positive lead from the plug and it's gonna to go to the output side of your resettable breaker. From the input side of the breaker, that will go to the one side positive side of your battery system that you just did, the series system. Then your negative is just gonna go directly to the opposite battery and then your circuit's complete. You got 24 volts. So the customers provided me with a Minn Kota charger. There's a three bank charger system is what we're using because we have three batteries. You might say, oh, but you have a 24 volt system. Doesn't matter. You take your lead, positive, negative, put them on the battery, same on the other one. As long as you do it that way, it's still a 12 volt system because they're not in series at this time. Very simple, very easy. However, it is also important when you're setting up your battery charger that you select the correct battery setting. Everything's on there, and this is a push button system, so it's real easy. Select it, lights will flash, it'll highlight the battery selection that you need. It's gonna go ahead and take care of the charging, bring the batteries back up to the voltages they need, and uh, he'll be ready to go out the next day and hopefully catch some fish. So there's a heading sensor that comes with this unit as well. 
I went ahead and made a, a custom bracket to fit it inside the console because we're, we're dealing with limited amount of fiberglass and metal surrounding to block any kind of signal to the trolling motor. Some people put them up on their consoles. In our case, we're putting really nice C-deck down and we just didn't want to see it. So I'm super excited about all this new technology. Once we got our heading sensor all installed, we're happy with it. We're gonna have to go ahead and pair it up with the unit, check the operation of the remote, and the most important thing at this point is to get this boat in the water, man. I mean, this thing is ready for the water. We wanna go out and try all these cool features, spot lock, bump up to the dock nice, you know, using our remote. This is gonna be so cool, you know, and I cannot wait to get on the water and try it out.